it's really confusing for consumers how to evaluate the quality of their own water supply and how to make decisions about what level of treatment might be needed in their area. And one of the things that we focus on is, is improving that communication strategy to educate consumers so they can make their own decisions. And what, what tips can you provide on how you're doing that with your risk assessment approach and the research that you're doing and your outreach activities, especially in rural communities? What suggestions do you have for increasing that content, that communication channel? I think it's, um, you know, really for the first time in my career, more recently looking at the behaviors of, of people um, and, and including the human factor in what we call the quantitative microbial risk assessment process. Um, and it, it first and foremost starts with perception. So it's risk perception. So if we're talking about source water quality or water reuse or point of use treatment, um, then it's talking about, okay, what is their perception of, of that type of, of implementation, for example, because that's going to influence their decisions and that will influence their behaviors and that will influence their exposure. And we know it's exposure that drives risk. So it's, it's a more tailored approach for risk assessment when we bring that to the risk communication component. And then, you know, here in El Paso with, with UT Houston, we have an MD and PH dual degree with the Paulo Foster School of Medicine and Texas Tech. And, you know, engaging those students and helping them see um, this is different angle to public health and maybe the potential impacts of environmental exposures to their patients has been eye-opening and um, has really resulted in, in interesting conversations where, and I've learned so much, where then you can identify different subpopulations that may be more vulnerable either to exposure because of their behaviors, first and foremost, and then the, the, the um, resulting outcomes, adverse health outcomes from that exposure. 